Hi guys, in this video I will provide tips and tricks for playing creation. And if you understand correctly all the stages which I will explain later, then if you play in a new kingdom, most likely you will be in the top 5 and that's without spending. Before that maybe I need to explain what are the advantages of catacombs, ok here are the advantages. First, if you enter the top 10 then you will get weekly rewards. Second, you'll get statistics for troops each time you complete a section. And the total is 190% troop stats after clearing all sections. Third, we'll open all the items that can be purchased by Catacombs Trader. And if you pay attention, for resources, and guard weapons material, you will get more for the same coins. For the blue resource, the amount is twice the green one. Which means if it's a farm account, you will get much more resources, and you don't have to bother got everything anymore, just need to log in to the farm at least two times a day to use your creation stamina. Then exchange all the coins that you have got. And in my experience, it is better if you have three farms to cover all your main account resource needs, including for building and research. It is for normal players without spending, and without buying speed up with money. Alright, now I will explain all the steps, and I have gathered all the information needed by creating a new farm account so I can explain in more detail to you. At the beginning you will get the basic equipment that is green, it will be able to bring you up to the 4th floor. For the talent points put on the warrior, this will be because the way to use this talent is very easy than the others. I will show some of the initial process by speeding it up so as not to take up too much time. Watch until the end because later I will explain the secret of this creation champion. If you pay attention, when fighting the last enemy, I always fight the vassal monsters on the right first, the goal is that after the right monster vassal dies, automatically moves against the vassal monster on the left, then the last boss. It's because vassal monsters die easier, while the boss is stronger, so it dies longer. When in section 6, 7, and 8 it was very useful, so after vassal monsters die quickly they no longer give damage to our creations. And only the boss monsters themselves are left to deal damage to our creations. So the health of our creations will be left more to defend against the boss. And if you pay attention again, the damage given by the enemy is the same, even if it's a boss or vassal monster. So it is best to kill the monster vassal first, And before telling the trick, it's better if I explain some basic knowledge, because maybe there are still some who don't know about it. From completing the fourth floor we get a blue equipment design, because the boots are still empty then that is what must be made first, and because of the warrior's talent, the suitable equipment is gallant boots, it is necessary to remember that talent and equipment must be suitable, if it is not suitable then the talent will not function later.
If you've tried in the next section and failed, then use your stamina in the highest section that you have completed like this, so that you may get a higher piece of equipment, and get more coins and EXP. After the pieces are enough. Then make the next equipment, remember to make equipment that suits your talents, and for warrior talents the appropriate equipment is Galant. When you replace the old equipment with a new one, then it's best to destroy the old one. So that the material can be used, for further equipment. Besides, you won't be using it again. In order to be able to place the crest you have to raise the forge until it opens the gem alchemy. It's the latest update when I created this account. And this is very important to increase the strength of your creations. While doing all this process don't forget to do your research, this also has a big effect, and to be able to complete all sections to completion at least you have to do research like this, if you did more research it would be great, chances are you will finish all the stages even faster. The two researches are to increase the satchel capacity, and the satchel slots, which means more items or coins that you can get, it is also important, because the more coins you get, the more items you can buy in catacombs traders. And this one is to increase the stamina limit. Useful when you're offline for a long time, then more stamina will be saved, then you can use it when it's back on. And now the trick part, in order to finish the initial section faster we need to make our creation stronger, and the way is to use higher equipment, namely brown equipment level 45. You can get it without spending money, the first step collect all the gold from achievement. If you are new and don't know yet, first click your profile photo, and you will see it on the top right. Do all the tasks you can to collect more gold. You can also get more gold from events like this, always pay attention to the ongoing events. If an active account is played, you will have a chance to get around 30,000 to 50,000 gold every month. It's just free gold from weekly and monthly events. And once you have collected about 8,000 to 15,000 then make a bid on the black market. Information for the bid fee is 10 gold, so in order to win and get the level 45 equipment faster, then you better spend all the gold you have, subtract 10 from your total gold, like I'm doing this. Keep doing it until you win one. And if you don't know I will explain this black market system. So if you're the highest bidder, then the price charged is in accordance with the bid price below you. And you will have your excess gold. So if you bid 15,000 and you're the highest, and the bidder under you was 13,000. Then you will pay for 13,000. And you will have your excess of 2,000 gold. You can check the notification message if you win, and take the goods by mail, and if you lose you will be able to take all the gold that you offered earlier. On the black market where the bid was made. You can check all the winners, and check, what time people are bidding a lot and at certain hours some people can win things very cheaply, but I think it doesn't matter, the most important thing is to quickly get equipment so quickly finish the catacombs. And before bidding on the black market, first pay attention to the equipment you are going to bid on, at the beginning of the video I have told you where to put talent, namely the warrior. And equipment that suits the warrior's talents is executioner equipment, and you will see later how it works, it will also match the crest that will be attached to the equipment. So don't get it wrong.
If you want to speed up and are confused about how to get it, then you can join the Red Guard Rally to get speed up from the chest. Or make an Alliance donation and then buy a speed up at the Alliance shop with the donation points you get. One level 45 equipment won't be enough to get you to section 8, but it will take you far enough forward, and you can start collecting pieces, to make purple equipment level 25, and then collect the pieces, to make brown equipment level 35. After enough pieces, make equipment, and replace all equipment that is still low, when getting new equipment try to replace the lowest one first. And started collecting gold again to bid on the black market. For your information, on this account in order to get to section 8 I have won 3 pieces of equipment level 45, uses approximately 40,000 gold free of some events. One equipment level 45, can bring me to section 5 to 5. And can start collecting level 45 purple pieces. After increasing the forge, and the gemstone slot is open then you can install crest, this crest can automatically be installed if it matches the equipment. And if it doesn't match then you can use it to increase the level of the crest that is already installed. Before use to increase the level pay attention if there are still empty slots. And now I will tell you how to use the warrior talent. This talent will be unlocked once your creation exp is sufficient, so continue to increase exp, by means of plunder every stamina accumulates. And you can also get experience by upgrading the castle to a certain level, or shop using hero coins at the hero store. And tips for using this talent is, wait until your enemy's health is running low, you can watch the way I do it, usually I activate the talent before the last attack. But a little difficult if not used to it, because you need to press the button at the right time. Maybe you can learn to get used to it, and before you get used to it, activate the talent before the last two or three strokes. And when fighting the final enemy with the boss, enable talent when your health is low or nearly depleted. This method will be very useful when you face strong enemies, especially in the last section. You have to remember the equations of equipment that use warrior talents, because each level has a different name, basic equipment, the green one, can be used with all talents, but its strength is very low. Then when switching to blue and brown equipment there are three choices and with different names for each level. So you don't get confused. There is an easy way to find out and mark it. As you know the warrior talent is in the middle or second place. And when making equipment, the position of the equipment is also the same in the middle or the second. As you can see, for level 35 equipment, brown, first position is devastator, and it was equipment for brutal talent. And for warrior talents, next or second or in the middle, namely fearless, and the last for the explosive talents, namely destruction. Then for the next brown one, level 45, just like before, the position for the first brutal talent, and the name of the equipment is enforcer, then next for the warrior talent, with the name equipment executioner. And the last one for explosive talent, with the name of the equipment is assassin. And in more detail, 
you can see the benefits of equipment, each equipment has its own advantages. And for executioner equipment the advantage is parry damage, so when receiving an attack from an enemy, the enemy's health will also be reduced. And the first talent is self healing, which serves to increase the health of our creations. Then the second talent and iron sacrifice, to increase the high defense, but also makes the attack zero for two rounds, that means it only deals parry damage to the enemy. So if you are already using complete equipment and it is different from the one I use, you only need to adjust the talent, no need to change it, because it would be a waste of time, and you just need to learn to use his talents properly. This is the last enemy in section 7, and made it to section 8, and unlock all items in catacombs trader, and I'll show you the time used later. Now let's check the time to get to section 8 and unlock all those items. You can see, only 3 weeks of time are used, and this way you will be able to complete all the sections in about 2 months, that's the time I spent on my main account. And entered rank 4 in my kingdom. And if you do this way in a new kingdom, then you might be in the top 5 in your kingdom, or at least top 10, and that without spending money. If you spend money to buy gold then you certainly will be much faster. Now I will tell you the secret of this creation champion. Try to pay attention, they all use the same equipment, executioner mask, and greaves, and the rest enforcer equipment. Then use Brutal Talent. At first I tried to copy it. Then I found there was something I couldn't replicate. The reason is because I'm not a big spender, and only a big spender who can do it. For equipment and talents that can be changed, and get it for free. But there is one thing that must be bought with money or gold. Not many people know this, because it is not clearly visible. And only the conscientious person who could see it. And here it is, watch the crest, it is not a regular crest, obtained free of loot catacombs. One crest they have two advantages, and a total of three crests attached to one piece of equipment, so they have six advantages of one piece of equipment, and from 6 pieces of equipment they get 36 additional advantage. And this is the usual crest, which is obtained free of looting catacombs. Only one advantage for one crest, so one equipment only has 3 advantages. And with a smaller number too. 3 multiplied by 6 equipment a total of only 18 extra advantage. And now I'm going to tell you how to get the crest they used. And here it is, the crest with the triangle on the front. You can buy it, one chest for one occasion, I never bought it. 
but I think it's like a raffle, and it's not sure to get what we want. If you are a big spender then you can give it a try. This is the usual crest, without the triangle symbol and the price is much cheaper, and can be obtained for free from the catacombs loot. See the difference of its price, the one with the triangle symbol is two times more expensive. Only get one chest for the same price, while the regular one gets two chests. And there is another way without buying with money, namely spending gold at the auction house, when there's a special auction, it's usually once a week if I remember correctly. You can try to win the raw brilliance crest fragment. And you need to collect 100 fragments to get one crest, means you need more than 100,000 gold to get one crest, because to win 20 fragments it takes more than 25,000 gold. And to equip 18 crest on equipment, means we'll spend more than 1,800,000 gold, if only rely on this auction. And if anyone asks is it worth it? If you can afford it I think it's worth it. Because it only needs to complete once. And we'll always get this prize every creation event. And reward it has long not been updated. Maybe it will be much better later. But at least all the gold in the spend will be back again, and can be used for other things. So that's the secret. If you can afford it then start now. And then it only remains to increase the equipment and crest slowly. I think all of this information is enough to increase your knowledge about creation. If there is a lack of information or errors, or there are things you want to ask, please write in the comments, good luck. See you in the next video, don't forget to, like, comment, share, and subscribe, thank you.